We just launched Nano Banana in Kittle, one of Google's fastest and best image generation tools. And it is now the default generative tool for Kittle flows. And I'm gonna show you just how incredible it is in this video. It's 10 times faster than ChatGPT Image 1, way cheaper, which is excellent news for you, and it's way more consistent. And I know a lot of you have been wanting that image and character consistency, and that's exactly what Nano Banana can give you. So let me walk you through four incredible use cases using Kittle flows with Nana Banana, which I think is going to be a game changer for you. First, let's talk about that character and image consistency. So let's say we have this image here and we'd like to change the dress color. What we can do is add a smart board, which we can do by hitting this arrow or going over here and clicking add smart board. Then all we have to do is come over here and say change the color of the dress. In this case, it's going to be yellow. Give it a couple of seconds and Boom, there it is. That's all we had to do was just prompt that in, but we can keep going. Let's say we want to change the position of this character and have them sitting on a chair. Boom, there we go. And we can continue to build this out because Nano Banana has such character accuracy and consistency that we can even create full frame images all from text prompts just like this. Super, super simple and super consistent. Let's do the same thing here with more of a graphic mascot character. And let's say we want to have the character holding a book in its right hand. Give it a couple of seconds and boom, there we go. Let's do it again. Let's say instead of a book, we want to have him holding a microphone or something like that. And in just a matter of seconds, there we have it. Now, what I like to do is convert these over to an actual image so I can remove the background. And even though it's a static image in Kittle, we can actually use our vector vectorizer tool over here on the right and then select the amount of colors that we want. Let's say this feels good, vectorize it. And then after that goes through, we have the ability to edit all of these different colors and keep the customization exactly how we want it. All right, let's talk about editing images and removing or adding things. Let's say we want to remove the logo from the middle of this shirt because maybe we want to put our logo on it or something. Again, Nano Banana does such a great job. Give it a couple of seconds and boom, super clean. But we don't have to stop there. Remember, it has image and character accuracy. So I can actually change the position of this person's hands to go behind the back instead of in the pockets because maybe I want a little bit of a bigger image or graphic on here. Give it a couple of seconds and boom it keeps the character the same but moves the hands to the back all right let's say i've already mocked this up but i want to change the text and the shirt color so i already have this mock-up but i want to change trust your soul to trust your gut well with nano banana i can do that by just prompting it in hitting generate and Boom, there we go. It's changed the text to trust your gut, but we don't have to stop there. We do wanna change the color as well. So let's change it from vibrant colors to more deep autumn colors like green. And this is such a great way to concept what colors and text you might want to use in your designs. And as Toby mentioned in his video, mockups are one of the strong suits here and it will really preserve all of the details. So you see how we have a lot of little details, a lot of little text in this typography design, but I'm gonna mock it up on a hoodie and I'm also going to start mocking it up on a tote bag as well because what it's going to do is keep all of those little details way better than our original flows, maybe something like ChatGPT would do. It kind of changes and messes it up. I mean, you can even see here details like the hoodie overlapping some of the details at the top like it would if you actually wore it. I've asked it to mock someone up wearing it in the middle of the street, and then I had them sitting at a cafe with the tote bag on the ground, and you can see the crazy consistency. I mean, this is just absolutely incredible. We definitely want you to try this out for yourself. All right, the last thing I'm gonna talk about is text effects. So let's say we have this really cool kind of utilitarian style text here and we wanna apply a weathered stamp, a kind of weathered uh, photocopy effect to it. And in just a couple of seconds, we have it just like that. Super, super simple to do. Let's go ahead and do something different. Let's say we wanna have like a halftone dither kind of smudging blur effect. And while that's working, I'm gonna show you what I like to do, which is convert it to an image. Again, remove the background and it's still gonna preserve all of those little textures all of those little fading marks and things and stuff like that, but I can still vectorize it so that I can change the color again. So all I have to do is just vectorize it with one color, give it a second, and boom, there we have it. Now we can select it and start changing the color to whatever we want. Let's go down and check on our other one down at the bottom. Yep, it looks like we have really, really nice and consistent dither around all of this, and we can do the same thing. We can convert this to an image, and I'm actually gonna show you something different that I like to do as opposed to 
to vectorizing it. So let's zoom in here. We have all this really, really cool grain and halftone around, but what I like to do is use this remove color feature in the photo filters tab, and I like to select one of the lighter colors that's in the image, like this super light gray. And then if I start removing that color, it gets even more grainy and more dingy and more weathered. So that's another really cool hack you can use in your text effects designs with Nana Banana. I'm just gonna show you briefly, here's another one I did. I turned some lettering into uh, balloons here, and then underneath it you can see I did one in woven style, and then I mocked it up on the side of a building because I felt like it looked really cool as a mural. There's just so many different use cases you can do with Nano Banana now in Kittle Flows. And by the way, if you need more AI tokens, you can go down here into the left where your AI tokens are and click Get More Tokens and select one of these options that work best for you to top up your credits. These tokens roll over each month and never expire. You buy them once and then they are ready for you to use whenever you need them. So now I want you to go check out Kittle Flows and Nano Banana and then come back and let us know what you think. Of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel here so you don't miss any exciting updates just like this this one and we will see you in the next video.